welcome to my channel again I'm here today to talk to you about interviewing at a dental school and if you have received one then that's awesome congratulations for that and if you haven't then stay hopeful and I hope that you will get one soon so the first thing that I want to talk about is I'm gonna actually be giving you tips but I'm also gonna be giving you resources on how to get like specific kind of information about the school or about um, like interview or questions or things like that so before researching the school and before learning everything about the interview the first thing you want to do is to actually know what is the type of interview that is being held or that is being done by this school and by that i mean there are so many types of interview there is the open one in which they know everything about you and they just want to match your personality with your application so with your personal statement with your cv and like all of that there's also the closed interview and this this is kind of an interesting one because they have no idea who you are they it's like they've just met you for the first time during the interview and you're gonna be leaving the impression right away so that's kind of like an interesting kind of interview there's also the stress stress interview I think that's what they call it in which they put you in like a stressful situation um, they give you like a scenario and then they would ask you how would you react in in this kind of a circumstances or in this kind of a situation and it's mostly it is a stressful situation that they put you in and that's why it's uh, I think it's called a stress interview the last one that I want to talk about is called the uh, mini interview in which I think it's probably done by schools that you will meet multiple faculties and they ask you very specific questions in regards to your CV, your personal statement, your application in general, just very focused questions and then they expect, expect you to answer in like short answers rather than elaborating about anything. And in this type of interview, it's very important to memorize everything you have in your application you don't want to leave anything um, for chances so make sure you read it and you know it like word by word so after knowing the type of interview you're going to be facing at the school you're going to the next step is to research the school and i know you probably maybe have heard that before that it's very important to research the school but I'm going to be giving you ways how would you research school. So the first thing you want to do, and um, of course, if you know someone at the school, then that would be the easiest way to learn about it. So don't be shy about it. Make connections, talk to people, learn about the school you're going to, even if you don't want to, well, at this like at this position you want to share with people that you have received interview and you want to learn from them what can you do to improve yourself or how can you make them like you and the other way is to actually post on facebook and you could just ask people like what do they think of this type of school and there are many students that are willing to help especially the students that are already in a program you don't want to be posting like i received an interview what should i do just post something very obvious and very clear like what do you guys think of this school what is the good things about this school why do people want to go to this school and i'm sure you'll find a lot of people that are willing to help and once you do that try to like also connect with them dm them um, send them a message ask them what do they think ask to call them and uh, there are a lot of people that are willing to help if you try so um, that's something that will be very easy for you to get information from and I'm sure they know the best about the school the second option you can do is to go through a student doctor network website and then um, go through the posts they have there are many people who have received acceptance from different schools and then they try to compare between these schools so you will find information 
about most schools in that place and you will find also people discussing different like advantages or disadvantages about specific schools so that will be also a helpful resource for you <clears throat> there is um another website i think it's called research gate um i will link it down below i will add the link below for the website they also have information about each school you can also go to the american student demo association website and then each school has their own website and you could look into that as well and finally instead of looking at the school website which is also helpful you want to also look through their instagram page facebook page and their youtube channel they have so much information that they offer at these platforms and it's just easier to access this information especially on instagram and youtube channels because you're going to be finding people uh like from the school students from the school that are going to be talking about the good things about the school why would you want to go there and stuff that can really help you in your interview day so researching the school is very important and it's a big part of your interview day the third thing you want to do is you want to practice and you could google general interview questions and then google dental interview questions and write them down in a piece of paper and make sure you go through them all and make sure you don't just answer the questions and memorize them you want to practice so there are two ways to do that you can either practice in front of a mirror which that could be helpful but i think the better option is to actually record yourself practicing and then you want to listen to yourself and see how you did what you want to change listen to your voice listen to your like watch your facial facial expressions and then your hands movement you want to look into every detail of what you were doing and then try to improve it and also when you practice for questions, make sure that you have like a general idea that this is what I'm gonna be talking about, but you don't wanna memorize it word by word because at, in the interview day, you will kinda, it will be so obvious that you are memorizing this information. So you wanna make sure that you're just reading a general idea that yes, this is what I'm gonna be talking about. I'm gonna be talking about this book that's my favorite book and I'm going to be talking about this author. I don't have to go through everything in details, but I just want to know what I'm going to be talking about and then just leave it to yourself. You don't have to practice it word by word. So, um, and also you could be letting other people see your answers and how you practice and also they could give you some um, like some comments what do they think how would you improve and stuff like that and then you wanna this is a very important thing you want to know the drawbacks in your application so if you have a low gpa if you have a low toefl score if you have um, years of experience or years that you stayed at home without working and without doing nothing you want to be talking about that in the most comfortable way so they will most schools definitely will ask you about that and they don't they're not trying to like put you in a bad situation or in a stressful situation they just want to know why what happened you have a great application but then you have a low gpa what happened and you want to be able to talk about that in a comfortable way and you want to be able to talk about that in like a way that would show them how you improved yourself or what happened for example for the GPA um, like the people in my country we all have a lower GPA when you compare it it's all below three when you compare it to people from India or people from um, like different uh, country and the only reason is that our system is different and like even let's say the person that was that was um, ranked one among all other students, he didn't he wasn't above three. So if you want to talk about that in a way that can 
just explain yourself what happened why this happened and even if it happened because you like maybe you didn't study well for a specific exam because just because you were in bad mood or not a bad mood that would be that would be something like something not good to talk about during an interview but like maybe you had a very stressful situation and just explain that in a very honest and respectful way and in a way that can defend you and don't be like don't be stressed about it talk about it naturally it it will not affect your interview it just if you say something very bad or if you say yeah i didn't study well because i just didn't feel like study yeah that would be bad for your interview but if you're just talking what happened and sharing with them the honest story behind it then that that's what they want to listen to and that's how you can just get rid of that thing that that drawback that you have in your application and in my case I actually it, they didn't ask me about it but I insisted that I would be talking about it even though nobody asked me about it just because I thought that they need to know and I made sure I also have it in my application so um, the other thing you want to do uh, is to write them thank you notes now this is very important it's not like you have to write them thank you notes and they're not waiting for one from you but it's just it's a nice gesture just because they spend this time with you and they've been listening to you and you're talking for like 30 minutes or 45 minutes so it's really nice to just thank them for their time and also you want to do that probably the day after your interview and you don't want to delay that for longer because they would probably just forget who you are so you want to do that and you also want to make sure that you have fun during your interview so even if you guys are just talking about professional things and talking about dentistry and talking about things that are not fun just try to incorporate something that will make it more enjoyable um and this is just for them so that they would remember you and it's also for them so that you guys would have fun maybe and instead of having like a boring interview and then they wouldn't be remembering anything about you it's helpful to have something that is just a, mem a good memory so that that will kind of maybe help them during the process of accepting people they would always say oh i like this person we had fun during the interview or something like that it might not be that easy but like something like that so um that's all i could think of right now if you have any questions let me know and i'll be more than happy to answer them good luck with your interviews and i hope you found this video helpful thank you